Martin Scorsese's Killers of the Flower Moon, his project depicting the Oklahoma murder pandemic of the early 20th century, dubbed the Reign of Terror, had its filming postponed, like many movies did, because of a pandemic of a different kind. Yes, the COVID-19 outbreak and subsequent worldwide lockdown had pretty much put the filmmaking world to a standstill. Now, however, things are starting to ease up and we're seeing production on a few films here and there start to resume. The films that are shooting are doing so under strict safety protocols to limit the spread of the virus. Starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert De Niro, Scorsese's film was supposed to start filming early in the year, around about February or March, and this is pretty much when the corona epidemic gained huge traction and things started shutting down, and Killers of the Flower Moon never got around to being filmed. Oscar-winning cinematographer Rodrigo Prieto, who has worked on the last few Scorsese movies, including The Wolf of Wall Street, Silence and The Irishman, recently spoke to Vanity Fair and it appears that Killers of the Flower Moon is about to start filming soon, albeit with some safety measures in place. Prieto said that he experimented with a camera trick for close-up shots when he shot a recent Taylor Swift music video. Obviously, for this kind of shot, the camera operator and cinematographer is usually up close and personal with the actor. But Prieto said that he utilised remote heads on the cameras so that social distancing guidelines could be adhered to. He said, It was one of the first jobs that we started shooting during the Covid times. So a lot of preparation in the very beginning was figuring out how to actually be able to film this, with all the requirements of how to take care of all of us and, of course, take care of her and be safe and all that. Being one of the first shoots to happen if, God forbid, someone got sick, that would be bad for the whole industry, let alone, of course, getting sick. But suddenly it's like, okay, now we have to shut down filming. So that was another thing we all talked about. We've got to make sure that we all adhere to these policies. On Killers of the Flower Moon, Prieto said, Certainly, that movie will be very delicate too, because, well, even Martin Scorsese as a director, he has asthma, so we have to be very careful with him. And on his remote head camera technique, he said, That's the kind of thing that I learned in the video that I think I will keep on applying, especially in a film like that. We don't want De Niro or anybody to touch anything right now. And on the film industry restarting, Prieto added, I've come to realise, because I did the shoot and I've done some other couple commercials as well, that it's possible because everybody's very conscious of this and everybody wants to keep working. There are a lot of protocols that are in place and that I've seen that are being done on every set. I think we'll just have to keep remembering to do all these things. So far, I haven't heard of anybody getting sick. We'll try to keep it that way. So, of course, the main takeaway from this interview is how filmmakers are going to have to adapt this style because of the coronavirus, especially with people like Martin Scorsese, who is in the vulnerable age bracket and has asthma. But of course, there is the suggestion that Killers of the Flower Moon is starting the ball rolling to get back into production. Scorsese's film has been turning heads recently, not only because of the incredible cast and jaw-dropping story, but because the movie will apparently cost an astonishing $200 million. For more info, you can check out my videos on the Killers of the Flower Moon and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching. Whoa, 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 don't go anywhere guys just yet. So some breaking news here. It looks like that while I was making this video, we've got another update on when exactly Killers of the Flower Moon will be filmed. The news comes from Osage News and Principal Chief Jeffrey Standing Bear who has been working with director Martin Scorsese. He said, My latest information is that they would start filming, subject to coronavirus, February 2021, and they will be here for about 16 weeks. They're going to start moving in here quietly. I'm not helping that very much, but quietly around November and December. So they're coming. So it looks like we finally have our date for filming, which will be February 2021, around about a year after filming was initially planned. It looks like it's planned to be about a four month shoot according to Chief Standing Bear, which means for sure we won't be seeing this film next year, unfortunately. Given how long Scorsese and editor Thelma Schoonmaker take in post-production, 
the most likely release date will be in the fall of 2022. So much for a quick, quiet, uneventful film production. I remember when Killers of the Flower Moon was talked about, being a film Scorsese could quickly squeeze in between The Irishman and Devil in the White City, a mid-budget movie that will be filmed very quickly. And yet here we are, with the movie now being a $200 million mammoth production that has had its filming delayed by a year. I believe that it would be feasible for the movie to start shooting earlier than February. A lot of films are starting to go into production now, but I think the weather is going to play a part. The spring-summer setting is quite important in the book the film is based on, so it makes sense for Scorsese, even if he could start filming soon, to delay the shoot until Mother Nature and the filmmaker are at one with each other. Thanks for watching.